Hello everyone and welcome to Abundantly Minimal. My name is Sarah and thank you so much for joining us for our next day of Minimal May. Today we've got a minimalist bathroom tour. Now I think my setup's a little, a little humorous in here. It's not a large bathroom, but I wanted to show you how we've managed to simplify our bathroom space, especially if you've got a small space and struggle to have an overall calm look when you've got maybe a lot of different products that you are trying to fit in different places. I'll go over a few of those tips to help you reduce the number of items that you have in your bathroom and also help with some organization, I suppose, too. So first up, we'll head over here and look at the shelving. So what we've managed to do with our shelving here is to really simplify the number of products. And the products that we keep out are the ones that we use on a daily basis. So this could include face moisturizer, deodorant. Jake keeps his deodorant in here. I actually just keep mine out by my clothes since um, it's tough to get me out of bed in the morning. So keep it as easy as possible. And toothpaste with some of these products, if there are ways, like if you live with someone else, if you can simplify and actually share the same products, use the same products, that can make it a lot easier because then you don't need two or three of everything. So in general, we share a lot of products like toothpaste. Got floss here. Again, these are just the basic essentials. There's contact solution that Jake has. I've got a facial toner, but we really keep it so basic and simple. And you can see that there's a lot of open space here. And that just keeps things looking really nice. It prevents clutter from building up because there's really not much of anything there. Where do we keep our other stuff? Well, over by our sink here, we do keep our toothbrushes here and our soap here as well. And then that takes us to our medicine cabinet, which is behind our mirror. So going through these, we've got a couple different sections. Now, one thing to keep in mind is that a lot of these products are consumable, so that means they probably will be used up at some point. But if you've got items that you've started using and you don't like them, I don't think there's much of a point to hold on to them. Over here in this first part, we've got extra shampoo, conditioner, and lotion that we aren't currently using. We've got some extras of some soap. We also have like some shave cream, bug spray, sunscreen. Some of those things that are, again, are tucked away, kind of extras of things that are either elsewhere, like in the shower, for instance, or things that we just don't need at the moment. Although some of these things, the sunscreen and bug spray, we're gonna start using more of since we are in the summer months. This is mostly storage. We don't use these things on a regular basis. Next up, our middle shelves. So we've got some extra dental care items, some extra toothbrushes, toothpaste, etc. We also keep Jake's contact solution and contacts here in this section, as well as a few extra shaving related items. Our next and final set of the medicine cabinet has to do with some medical supplies. It's really important to check through those expiration dates just to make sure you're keeping things relatively up to date on different medical care. We have some essential oils, some allergy pills for me. I do have some allergies. If they get really bad, I've got a few extra things. Some band-aids, um, other like a thermometer, so just a few other essentials, but I think the main thing to take in is that this medicine cabinet, these are not things that we use regularly, but we do have them. And so there's no point to have them out and about cluttering up your daily use space. Keeping surfaces clean can really help reflect a more minimalist lifestyle. Over here, I do have we do have some of our towels that are currently in use. These are Koyuchi towels that we love. These are much fancier than the other towels we own. Uh, when we were buying our sheets that I talked about in the minimalist bedroom tour video, we also bought some towels because they were on clearance. We're like, let's get some organic cotton towels. And they are so luxurious. Uh, we do have some regular towels too, but we have about eight towels, which we find for us works well. We could probably reduce it even further, but we find that this way we each kind of have four towels we rotate between every couple days and then sort of wash them all together. So it's totally up to you how many towels. I would say if you've got a huge excess of towels, that could be an area to declutter. I keep some of my hair care and other beauty related essentials uh, down here in this bin, as well as toilet brush and plunger. So some other basic essentials. Technically, do these need to be out? Probably not. We could make them work other places, but I don't like to have any of our shelving or drawer area be overcrowded. And underneath the shelving here, we've got a few other items. We've got our extra towels here as well, some washcloths. We actually have some bamboo washcloths that are pretty cool. Keep some extra related travel kits here. So if you've got a few of those little tiny bottles of shampoo, conditioner, whatever, you can actually throw those in a baggie and then have an instant travel kit ready to go that you can just grab and go for weekend trips. It makes it pretty easy. We keep toilet paper down here as well. I have a pair of scissors 
that are specifically hair scissors. I haven't been doing this for a really long time, but I have been cutting my own hair for the past couple, I guess, times when I would be getting it cut. Since I'm not the most talented at it, I have a pretty basic style, so it's not too hard for me uh, to do that, but that can be a great way to save some money, and I always even though even though we just go to great clips and like affordable places i still am always like man fifteen dollars like and when you add tip in it just it seems easier to do myself so i just bought a pair of the hair scissors from target or something and have been using that instead that is how we have decluttered our bathroom and made it a more minimalist bathroom again this is a pretty small space so i know many bathrooms that people have are like twice the size or even three times the size of this but if you've got a small bathroom and you're curious about how to fit or what things that we hold on to in a minimalist bathroom i wanted to make this video if you're looking for other videos related to minimalism you can check a few out here on the sides um, if you'd like to subscribe you can click next to my face and you can also check out the link below if you're curious to see our declutter challenge guide which helps you declutter various rooms around your house thanks so much for watching you guys bye